Well, a brilliant foreign film and a rom-com parody are on screens. Here to tell us all about them are Chuck and Pam. You guys still chatting while we're doing the intro, so. <laughs> well, we thought we'd do something interesting. Yeah, it's okay. Pam, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to be back. Well, we're, we're okay to have you back. You know, <laughs> we do fine. You did give me a little, little bit of a hassle as I walked in here, both of you guys. <laughs> That's our job, isn't it? Because we love you. Well done. So, well done. we're talking about a kind of a violent crime film first. What's this called and what are we talking about? Oh, well, can we go? Oh, yeah. It's oh, you want to go? You yeah, do, let's go with the other one first. Oh, you want to do Isn't It Romantic? Yes. Let's go All right, that. then we're going with Isn't It Romantic <laughs> first. But first, while we're on camera here, happy Valentine's Aww. Day to both of you. Pam, uh, Chuck, yours says Llama Queen, so I feel like that really <laughs> Wow, works for I'm you. not sure what that <laughs> means, <laughs> but. Right. I'm saving you. that Thank for Thank you. It's romantic, right? Thank you. <laughs> that is so here, sweet. Of Thank course, yes. Yeah, so it seems to be romantic with a little bit of spite. Of course. Okay. That's the best kind. Yeah. So um, we're talking spice, about this movie. Spice. Oh, Spice. Okay. And uh, I've been you. watching this trailer for a while now. And I love rom-coms. So what do we think about this one? You know, this is a, I think this is a tried and true formula. Rom-coms have been around for literally centuries from the beginnings with Shakespeare all the way through silent films and now. And we have Rebel Wilson who plays Natalie. She is an architect living in, or working in an entire male environment. She has zero confidence in her skills and every other aspect of her life. She thwarts a mugger, a would-be mugger in the subway and unfortunately she bonks her head and she is unconscious. She wakes up in what she d describes as being a William Sonoma emergency room, and she finds that she is stuck in a rom com, a PG 13 rom com, and her only way out is to fall in love or to find true love. Um, this sounds like a typical romantic comedy, and in a lot of ways it is. Where it differs is the fact that it makes fun of itself. Um, it puts it checks off all the boxes you know we've got the narration she doesn't see the one who's really in love with her it's all these typical tropes that are used but it does realize that it's using those tropes and makes fun of it rebel wilson i'm a fan i think she pulls it off and i love liam hemsworth in this film as well as do. adam of course i do did you <laughs> see the trailer yes um, adam divine in this as well um the pair match up wonderfully and i had a lot of laughs and the thing that makes this different also is the fact that we have a few messages in there for girls and young girls saying that we should support one another we shouldn't be so critical have confidence in yourself and speak up so there's some great messages in this film as well and now we're gonna get to the the eye roller the, ha the haterade <laughs> wait hater. Chuck Haters what do you hate Chuck what do you think <laughs> it was okay Okay. Isn't it, was it okay? okay. It, was, oh, it was okay. I mean, there I had problems with it, but it wasn't as awful as I thought it would be. I had a problem with the fact that it couldn't make up what it wanted to do. Uh, there was a couple of musical sequences in here that I thought were fantastic. Oh. And I think had it been a complete musical parody of the rom-com, I would have oh, that's enjoyed a good idea. it more. I did like the fact that it was only 88 minutes. This part uh, looks interesting it, in that's particular. Really good, and I, there, are, there are three takes on this. Oh, yeah, really yeah, yeah. Three thing. for you, yeah. And I, <laughs> I think I got popcorn on the third one. Oh, uh, man. But no, it was okay. It was okay. I'm not going to okay. bash it. It was fine. I'm not a huge Rebel Wilson fan. Neither so. am I. And I think I, it's overdone. And she's with What's-His-Face in every movie. They have good chemistry. They can play off of one another I like that kid. He's funny. He's funny. I'll He's give funny. him that. I like him, too. But this one's a little bit uh, different. Then isn't it romantic? Oh, uh, it uh, couldn't be more different. Uh, right? Capernaum uh, is the name of it. It means chaos. And mm -hmm. this is nominated for uh, the Best Foreign Oscar, Best Foreign Film Oscar. There you see our hero there. Zane is his name, and he is a young boy, 12 years old. He's already serving a five-year prison sentence for having stabbed someone. And the trial for this, or another trial in which he finds himself back in court, triggers a bunch of flashbacks in which we see what happened to this poor boy. Uh, he is in court again, as I said at the beginning of the film. He is suing his parents for giving birth to him. They don't even know how old he is. That's the length of neglect that they go through. He and his seven sisters live with the uh, parents in a three-bedroom hovel and it is a disaster and we see that the boy runs away runs away and it is his odyssey then on the streets of Beirut trying to survive just trying to get through another day and he meets a woman who is in a similar circumstance in that she is also alone she is a refugee who is about to be deported and she's trying to take care of her young son 
This movie was shot on location, and much of what you see actually happened or is based on things that happened. The young boy was poor like this and had to learn to survive on the street, and Pam told me that he was completely illiterate. The woman there that you see who's a refugee with a child, same situation that she went through. And the um, film's director, Nadine Labaki, she pulls no punches here. And as you can see, the camera is on the streets. It's always moving with Zane. Many shots are at his level so that we are in his shoes every step of the way. There are many moments where I wanted to turn this film off. It is almost unwatchable at times because of what you see him go through. Uh, Pam encouraged me to finish it, and I'm glad I did because the final image is seared in my head. <laughs> it is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And it is a sliver of hope that we need. I cannot say enough good things about this film, uh, but it is a rough sit. And beautiful film, absolutely um, heart-wrenching, devastating, and watching this through the eyes of this young boy, the hopelessness in his eyes, um, we really experience everything that he does. And knowing that while this is a fictional tale, um, it captures a lot of the realities that happen within this city and the refugee situation. Mm -hmm. um, the little boy, Zane, is his actual name. He's a Syrian refugee, um, and we really see that, that hopelessness and that need for identity that mm -hmm. we all crave and want, and the need to be a child. Um, just a beautiful film, um, heart-wrenching, but again, giving it perspective in what we have and and putting that into relationships. Um, just amazing, extraordinary performances, extraordinary film. At the Art Theater. Did you cry? Yeah. Chuck cried. This is serious, guys. All right, well, we'll have to check that one out. It is, stands for chaos, right, you said? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. All right, well, you guys have something fun going on on your Facebook page. Tell us more We about do. It. Check out our Facebook page, and you can learn a little bit more about the little boy, Zane, who is in um, Capernaum. And um, everyone who has liked our page, so go on and like it. That picture be... gets me every time. <laughs> Cheers to that. We had a good time then. Um, okay. Yes, we did. <laughs> everyone who has liked our page is going to be entered into a contest to win two tickets to the art theater. If you want to know if you've won, you need to go to our new website that's launching today. We're really excited. Mm -hmm. Realtalkwithchuckandpam.com. Take oh a look at it. Gosh. After 3 p.m. this afternoon, it should be up and running. Fingers crossed. And you'll see whether or not you are the winner of two tickets to the Art Theater, which is where Capernaum is playing. Awesome. Thank you guys so Thanks. much. Guys, Thanks. go like their page. Their new website it launches today. Check it out. Good luck. And I hope you win those tickets. Thanks, Chuck and Pam, for being here as always. Good to be back. Of course. Well, we'll keep you for now. We'll be back. <laughs>